Gotham that can come online and start doing more work in these team fights, but he's actually losing the health bars. Look at this damage! Broken Blade's going for the solo, because he might actually have it someday. It's pretty injured, Redemption comes oh! in, and he's gonna dodge his own Redemption! And he's gonna go down! Broken Blade finds a solo kill! Alright, so Broken Blade played that one quite well. He's sticking around. He wants to get in with this. Size rush. One dark blade. Kill him here. Gonna be a chain. solo. Comes out. Throws down the world oh! under. He can get the kill on Hootie, but he gets stopped up. One more dark and blade to come in, he but he uses off. the umbral dash. Broken blade comes in, says, Hootie who? Someday who? Solo kills both of them. Broken blade helping out there, but look at this. Another one. Is this another one? No way. Dark and blade. Oh! It's dark and blade. Third strike takes him down. He is slam dunking Hooney in the top. This lane. is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous right now. I think it can happen sometimes on stage, but my team got my back, and I know that if they play bad, then I can carry them, and if I play bad, then they can carry me, and I have trust in them. They have trust in me, and yeah. And in TSM Legends, we heard Bjergsen call you the heart of the team. We saw you leading all the team huddles right before the game. How are you fitting in with TSM so far? Um, honestly, I'm just myself, and they seem to like it, and I like, I like, I like them too, and it's just, it just feels good to be in TSM. It's, it's a really nice atmosphere, and it just feels great to be here, yeah. Advantage. Again, TSM don't need to do anything when this is happening under the turret. Broken Blade on the impact, looking for the 1v1 solo. Dolo, easy, so easy for Broken Blade. Just absolutely destroyed. I'm not even sure why Impact walked back towards him there at all. No chance of winning that. Now they're TPing in for Bear, and they are going to commit to it. Yep, and it's four members of TSM bot. Everyone going after Broken Blade. They're actually flashing yep. for him. Oh, did they flash in? Counter Strike up. Broken Blade down with the redemption as well. Gonna heal him back up. TSM maybe not gonna try and find the fight. As Broken Blade almost kills Nick Smithy. 2v5. And now hops back towards his jungler safely. Jerks oh. now landing the sleep. Again, TSM just forcing Team Liquid into these abilities. That was double his flash. Core JJ's flash. Smithy's flash. Core JJ's ultimate. Smithy's ultimate. And they don't even really get that close to killing him. Different style of plays. Oh, Broken Blade. Oh, he's, he's taunting oh. him. Trying to give him a little bit of a reminder here. Oh, oh it's both oh. reminders. He's like, yeah, this was the matchup. You remember. Y'all want to talk about some mind games. Broken Blade's playing him here in the champ select. But... They take it very well, but teleports can't be canceled. And remember, yeah. that means you're going to be drowsy as soon as you show up. Ligorous tries to buy some time. Instead, he just gets resurrected immediately. Acadian going to be taken down to half. More damage flying out. Here comes a pop. Oh, down over the Broken Blade as TSM will absolutely eviscerate Cloud9. Zazel tries to walk away, but I don't think he's going to be walking much further. The root comes out. The arrow goes flying. And Cloud9 has lost three. Oh, Broken Blade. Gonna spot out someday. This is still a difficult 1v1 for the Raven, though, with a 4,000 gold depth. So they're gonna try, though, and actually good damage. Puts the shield across now. A team out of the mid side. They're gonna find Sven. He's gone Whoa. right away. Ezreal is dead, and now Broken Blade must run. He's against all of them. Someday pops the ult. He's trying to chase in. Broken Blade does not get knocked up just yet. Still finds some good damage. And Sunday just cannot run him down. So a lot of space bought by the Raven. And with playing on TSM, there comes a lot of pressure from the community and the fans. Have you felt that yet? And how are you dealing with it? Um, obviously, I have huge respect on the TSM fans because there, there's so much of uh, pressure that can get to my head. But I think I've been doing pretty well uh, up to date, but uh, up till now. But uh, I think I can handle the pressure of the TSM fans, and yeah. And TSM is a great opportunity to kind of show your stuff as a player and prove yourself. What do you want fans to think of you by the end of Spring Split? Um, I didn't come to NA to just participate. I came here to win the whole thing, and that's what I'm going to do. Came here to win. Broken Blade, congratulations again on the win, and thank you. And for more on the game, let's hear from the State Farm Analyst Desk. Here, really like that cog bop pick in the second half. Pays off. Forces the ult, can't find the knockup. Plenty of damage on towards Solo. Broken Blade able to just trade that back and forth. Solo wants to revive, but he's not going to get to, so keep in mind. Broken Blade has old ignite! There it is! Doesn't even need to press it, but does get the kill. Solo 1v1. Jefferson plus oh, the Baron of Acadian. Found out, finds a knockup! Goes for the dunk, but Kinder gets the ult down in time. Oh, oh it blocks out of it! Rush kills himself, and it goes Broken Blade. One kill back by, by Solo. Now it's on towards Apollo. He's running, but he can't get away from Jax. 
The backline access only gets a zillion ult down. Hakuo gone as well. A second kill now for Solo. He's gonna do it all by himself, but he's gonna drop down as well. Over the wall goes Broken Blade, a flash for Phoenix to chase down. And TSM get the ace. Oh my god, Rush! Way too far in enemy territory. You said they needed a big horse, oh, they get no! one. Broken Blade will break Licorice in the 1v1. How this happened here in top lane. Then booted back, so the ultimate. Oh, he down. Oh. They already had the E as he was dropping through. Yeah, Licorice just wanted to reset the wave, I believe, there. So he was just trying to reject oh. it out after the TP. But the E was connected too early. Gets in on top of him, gets the kill, and the mobile build GP. They see the teleport coming uh, in from Bjergsen. Smoothie's looking, in. Smoothie's looking to isolate Sneaky, but he's going to be gobbled up by Zazel. Kept safe for now. Sneaky's still looking to find the counterattack. Bjergsen into the back line, trying to find somebody. Licorice already going to be eliminated. Bjergsen now looking to find Sneaky, but he's going to be ulted by the Zillion. Sneaky kept alive, still looking to run and gun. Goes into the resurrection. Since Scary looking to grab the kill on his Vin. Bjergsen already going to be grabbing the kill on now to Zazel as well. Misky taken very low. Bjergsen's going to be taken into the stasis. TSM will collapse and destroy Cloud9. about one third HP. This could be very dire if it goes badly for them. Niski's gonna be in some trouble. Taken very low, taken down. Bjergsen grabs that kill and TSM will now look to make even more happen. Baron is they still going to be aggro. This is a leash. TSM has now taken over the pit. They've taken over the drake. It is secured by Broken Blade. And TSM has some hell of momentum now. Three dead on Cloud9. Zazel is going for, he's going for Righteous Glory. He's looking for Engage. It's not the Knight's Bow, it's not the Zeke, but he's going in well, now. There he goes, he's gonna be starting things off. Goes into the ultimate now, immediately gonna be taken down. TSM turned that one around right quick. Sneaky now in some danger, having to get himself away, but the Hemo Plague will claim his life. And just like that, TSM have control of Baron. There for Cloud9. But then when TSM got ahead, they got really ahead. Broken Blade losing about half HP right there. Sneaky having to get himself back. Here comes the Ornhorn. Licorice not able to deliver on that one. Zazel coming in from behind. Acadian's going to be taken low, nearly taken down. It's been scaring the first death here of this fight. Zazel still looking at front line on this one. Broken Blade's able to find Hemo Blake on the two. Sneaky's going to be very low, barely getting himself out alive. Licorice is the next target. TSM, three for zero. Make it four. Misky stands alone. And TSM will stick the end of the game right now. Niski tries to fight, but five versus one is not good odds. It started rough. They made the reverse sweep happen, and TSM will earn their place in St. Louis. They had 10 straight finals going into last year. We're not able to make it. Impact versus Broken Blade. Be it. So three to zero. Out of her sky. Now the flash engage. I'm not going to score JJ. No root hat for Sven. Now the backline access. Just a solo kill for Acadian. But here comes Kennen. He's going to find one. The knockup should be a second. Team Liquid do win the fight. Now Broken Blade has to run. Or will it be a re engage? The hell? Oh, the empowered E. What a play for the new top laner. Look at a bit more. A bit knockup, but not a lot of damage for Xpithy. Now Cross Dublin chased down. Not quite killed. For TSM. Can TSM fight without Bjergsen? Can TL fight without impact? Then on the backside, he feels safe. In goes Broken Blade. In goes Acadian. They're going to try to find that kill. Hemo Plague will kill one. They look for a second and get it. Double it falls for a third. What a fight for TSM. Inheritors at this point, without the turrets, it's not easy to fight. They, they press the buttons. They look for Bjergsen flashing away, staying alive. The buildings are all gone, but the team fight, what's that going to look like? Here comes Smoothie. He's going to keep the back line safe. Down goes one already. Broken Blade getting yet another kill. And now for the last few kills, TSM are just wreaking havoc. A double kill may get a triple in his first LCS finals. And he wants even more. Do they go for it? Quadro for the Vladimir. And the next is more important. TSM 1-0. Comes in, sweeps through the rest of the team. Oh, broken, broken Blade! Blade is gonna find his solo kill, his first of the game underneath the turret. Still have the lead. And here is the 1v1 one more time, queuing through those minions, getting the resets, landing the stun for yet another reset. Then 
Hugh all at the same time to get the final reset there and finish off Impact, dashing back out. So, so clean there from Broken Blade. That is another little cost to that trade. And Broken Blade does still have his ult ability. Predator pop, ult triggered right there. Now Impact's gotta be careful around this one. As Broken Blade's invisible, round two goes to the stun, gets first blood, 1v1, and now must run away from Nick Smithy, Acadian nearby to keep him alive, and that is massive in game five. Bjergsen goes in, finds the bubble, it's gonna be blocked up by Core JJ, no damage coming through. Look at Broken Blade on the bottom side. They've got some decent damage, they're rooted up in place, pops the Zonia's Hourglass, and now they're re-engaged towards impact, the knockup, a Sanguine Pool, buys some time, flashing away, stays alive and powered heal. Now it's Jench on the backside, pushed away, can they find the right one? One more shot will kill, buys another second, uh -huh. but he will indeed drop, and Bjergsen takes him down. Team Liquid try and go for the two-person play onto Broken Blade, but they can't finish it off.